Today is Fentanyl Awareness Day, and with overdoses on the rise, raising awareness about the dangers of fentanyl is vital. I spoke to the Floyd County Sheriff, John Hunt, to learn more. And the, the awareness is the only way to, to uh, really get us out of this, or to at least decrease it. But uh, our young people especially, but even in our, our grandparents who's raising grandkids, you know, a lot of uh, are not are not really um, educated on what fentanyl is or heroin or whatever. But really, they need to be aware of how deadly this, this is, uh, 50 to 100 times more deadly than um, about anything, you know, what that we deal with. Uh, I mean, it's just so deadly, just a touch of it is causing overdose deaths. So bringing awareness to everybody and getting them to uh, educate themselves or to, to reach out to law enforcement, health department, medical uh, officials to find out just how, how deadly this is, uh, would probably help and go a long way. Outpatient medication-assisted treatment for addiction, adult and youth behavioral counseling, and now psychiatric services, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard. Regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, LLC, in Pikeville and Whitesburg. Call 606-432-5660. Find us on Facebook. Each day, over 150 people die from overdoses related to the synthetic opioids like fentanyl. However, many counties are working to decrease those numbers by making Narcan, an opioid reversal drug, free and available to the public. The Narcan, uh, you know, many years ago, I don't know how long it's been now that we introduced Narcan. We were the first, uh, one of the few law enforcement agencies to actually, uh, you know, to accept Narcan into uh, our office and put it into our cruisers. And everybody kept saying, oh, why are you doing that for? Let a druggie die. You know, who cares? Whatever. But, uh, man, let me tell you something. There's days we go through uh, five or six Narcan doses a day. Um, sometimes you'll apply three or four doses to one person. So, um, but yeah, the Narcan box is given to the community and uh, is a big help. It saves lives. It's proven to save lives. Um, we see it uh, on most of our calls that people already have Narcan in their possession, a family member, a loved one. And listen, I don't care if they go to church, if they go to a nightclub, wherever they go, somebody feels like they have the need to carry Narcan because they never know when somebody in front of them or around them or a loved one or a family member uh, is going to succumb to uh, an overdose. So uh, that's been good in a way that people feel uh, free to take a can and a dose of a Narcan and keep it in their possession. But uh, the availability is, is good to, for people to have. It is. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.